about 14 kilometers in altitude, 8.4 miles, continuing to descend. There on your screen, we have a shot of the capsule as it is preparing to deploy those initial parachutes, the drogue parachutes. Again, these parachutes help slow the vehicle down even further and help stabilize in preparation for main chute deployment. Right about now, the capsule is going about 400 miles per hour, decelerating quickly. And standing by for drogue deploys. Visual, two drogues out. There on your screen, we have visual confirmation of those two drogue deployments. Happy do drogue. All right, so two of two, the drogues now out. They're gonna do their slowing and stabilizing of the Dragon spacecraft. They should be detaching in just a few moments, and then we'll see four parachutes, the main parachutes deployed. Dragon under drogues. Drogue descent rate nominal. So the expected descent rate, the expected velocity out of the drogues nominal. We're right at around 150 miles an hour and already dropping. You can see the drogues now detach. And there we have confirmation of deployment of the four main parachutes. We are visual on four chutes out. We are visual. Four main parachutes deployed. Four main. So at this point, the main parachutes have deployed. They are inflating, as you can see there on your screen, continuing to slow Dragon down significantly. We are anticipating splashdown in just under two minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, we've already slowed the vehicle down to about 16 miles an hour. It's already less than a kilometer in altitude. Main chute descent rate nominal, passing through 700 meters. So at this point, Dragon has saved all propulsion systems on 600 board. 600 meters. 600 meters. And we're 600 meters above the Gulf of Mexico. Should be approximately a minute 30 from splashdown. Mission Control Team here in Hawthorne has reported the precise landing coordinates to the recovery team. They are standing by, ready to go get our space dads. Just passed about 300 meters, one minute till splashdown. Two hundred meters. We have brace for splashdown. Copy brace for splashdown. So there we heard Bob and Doug reporting that they are bracing for a splashdown. We should be able to see uh, the Gulf of Mexico here in the shot just momentarily, as we're now just about 20 meters off the ocean. Splashdown. As you can see on your screen, we have visual confirmation for splashdown. SpaceX copies and concurs. We see splashdown and mains cut. Dragon Endeavor has returned home. NASA astronauts and Bob Endeavor and Doug. On behalf of the SpaceX and NASA teams, welcome back to planet Earth and thanks for flying SpaceX. <laughs> it's truly our honor and privilege.
Congress to flight in flight of the uh, Crew Dragon and Endeavor. Congrats, everybody at uh, All good, and we're uh, into section of four decimal eight zero zero. Thanks for those words, Doug, and we uh, copy that you are into uh, 4.800. It's a great news all around there. Our space dads are back on Earth after a 19-hour return journey from space. All right, so the crew was just told in about 30, in the next 30 seconds, they have the lines affixed, so they're going to start lifting the capsule up out of the water. And at this point, the communication we're getting with Dragon is actually being routed through the boat itself at this point. So there we can see the lift. Dragon is out of the water. Yeah, so they're now. The A-frame is going to start swinging it back. And it's bound right for that nest at the bottom of your screen. There we're getting a better shot of all the points in which Dragon is tethered to the hydraulic lift, ensuring that it isn't swinging freely. And there we can see Dragon Endeavor being carefully set down into the recovery nest on top of Go Navigator. Dragon uh, SpaceX, welcome aboard the recovery vessel. Recovery personnel are completing final checks and preparing to translate you to the egress platform. Be happy. Thank you. And there we see Dragon moving forward. Look at that. Smooth as a Tesla, I would say. <laughs> it's really interesting to see those scorching marks uh, now that we get a really nice up close detail shot of Dragon. Standing by for the go for side hatch open. That rounded square there in the center of the capsule is that side hatch. And on either side are those oval windows. Dragon SpaceX, stand by for side hatch opening and egress. Okay, so currently our exposure limits um, are below limits, but the purge is actually doing a pretty good job. We saw NTO go from uh, three parts per million down to 1.5 over the last few minutes. So ideally, with a lot of caution, we'd go ahead and let the purge run for a little bit longer, but we want to see how you guys are doing, if you're okay with uh, continuing with, a, with the uh, purge versus uh, knock it off and uh, get you guys out of there quickly. Yeah, we're fine hanging out, Mike. Uh, yeah. No problem here. Okay, thanks for that, Doug. We'll uh, keep working the purge to uh, get us down, and uh, and uh, thanks for that. Thanks for that. Yeah, let's just keep everybody safe. No reason to rush. Yeah, we concur. This is the culmination of uh, what has been about a 19-hour journey home, all starting yesterday, as they departed the International Space Station. So this hatch will be manually opened, and once doing so, flight surgeon Anil Menon will uh, say hello and make sure that they're still doing all right, and then proceed to assist them with exiting the capsule. And we see the hatch is now open. Hatch being opened at 12.59 p.m. Pacific. Hello from the PLT. I just wanted to thank you guys for uh, bringing us home safe before we uh, I disembark from the ship Endeavor. I'm sure Doug will have some good words for you guys as well. But uh, thank you for doing the most difficult parts and the most impart important parts of uh, human space flight, getting us into orbit and bringing us home safely. Thank you again for the good ship Endeavor. Thank you, Bob, for those awesome words. It's, it's absolutely been an honor and a pleasure to work with you from the entire SpaceX team. It's been awesome. Go for SpaceX.
Here we have our first view of and Doug I, Hurley. I just would like to sort of reiterate what Bob said and add uh, my thanks to uh, everybody over the last several years that's either worked in Hawthorne, McGregor, or down at uh, Kennedy Space Center. Anybody who's touched Endeavor, uh, you should take a moment to just cherish this day, especially given all the things that have happened this year. Uh, we certainly can't thank you enough. Our families can't thank you enough. And, uh, just proud to be uh, a small part of this whole effort to get the uh, company people to and from the space station day and celebrate with each other. See you soon. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, hopefully in person. Thanks so much, Doug, and you're welcome. And, and thank you so much for those kind words. And we all wish you a safe journey home and a happy reunion with your family soon. And we look forward to seeing you in person as well. Some really nice words there from Bob Benkin. There on your screen, we saw uh, NASA astronaut Doug Hurley egressing or exiting from the capsule. Might have been hard to see on your screen there, but um, we got a thumbs up indicating that uh, things are going well. Sorry, excuse me, I mixed up my positions there. Yeah, uh, those words were from Doug, and we have Bob that just came out first. Yeah, so Bob Bank and uh, the pilot, the Joint Operations Commander for this mission, out of the capsule now. So he's making his way over to the medical area, and now they're going to work to get Doug Hurley out next. All right, so they're getting set up, and we should see spacecraft commander Doug Hurley making his way out of the capsule. And it looks like we've got him out. We've got him seated. And there we go, another thumbs up. We've got some applause here. And as you can see in Mission Control, a standing <laughs> ovation for a job well done all around.